Hi, Super Scholars. Miss Gross here. Today is your last test or check-in of the fourth grade year. How do you feel about it? I know that you're excited. I'm excited too. Um, so what I wanted to do is instead of showing you the rock the test slides before this today, since this isn't really a full-blown test, I wanted to go over it with you and remind you of some of those test taking or just assignment taking skills as I went along with this. Okay, so for this, you're going to look at it. It's only eight questions, so it's not super long today. It's actually pretty short. And I want you to look at each one and make sure you read the full question. Okay, so number one is pretty self-explanatory. It says, which type of triangle is pictured below? So you're just going to pick, is it an equilateral, an isosceles, or a right triangle? Okay, use what you know about those types of triangles to tell which one this is. Okay, so for number two, I did want to go over very quickly. So Sophia drew several lines as shown on the left. So that's in that picture there. Which line is perpendicular to line A? Okay, so when you're looking at this, remember, they label the lines based on the end points, okay? So you've got AC is this line here. You've got point A and point C. So this is AC. You want to figure out which one of these lines is perpendicular to AC. Remember that a perpendicular line is one that forms a right angle. So which of those would form a right angle? Is it line AD, line BE, CE? And I gotta click back off my pen. Or line CB, okay? Which one of those would make a perpendicular line perpendicular creates that right angle okay moving down here number three which geometric term best describes the drawing below and instead of it being below it's beside okay so this drawing here beside what is that are those perpendicular lines parallel lines intersecting lines or is it a ray number four is similar it says which geometric term best describes the drawing below and again instead of being below it's beside okay so is this perpendicular lines parallel lines a ray or a line segment Number five, Ethan drew a figure that has two pairs of equal sides. Four right angles formed by perpendicular lines and two pairs of parallel sides. What geometric term best describes the figure Ethan drew? Okay, so. On this one, there's a lot of information there just in one little question. So the way that I would do this is to use those test taking strategies you know, or in this case, assignment strategies that you know, and help yourself figure it out. Slash and trash answers that you know are not correct. Okay, so out of those four options, you know the features of each of these shapes. Which ones of those could not be possible? Okay, also draw the shape that he's drawing. Okay, use where it's describing it to draw it out yourself and then see what you've drawn. That'll help you with answering number five. 
Number six, Alexia chose these shapes. You can see the three shapes here that she has chosen. Circle them. So she chose these. Pin struggling. These three shapes. She said the following shapes do not belong with the ones she chose. So these ones down here do not belong in her group. Okay. Which is the best description of the shapes Alexia chose? So you're looking at these blue ones. What would be the best description for these shapes that these shapes don't match? Why do these not fit in this pattern that Alexia has made? Are they all shapes with a right angle? Are they all shapes with all sides of equal length? Are they all shapes with six sides? Or are they all shapes with two pairs of parallel lines? What do these have that these do not? Okay, number seven. Number seven has the start of a picture here. Okay, and it wants to know which figure completes the drawing so that it's symmetric. Okay, so then we have four other drawings here. You want to find out which one of these drawings would be the other half of this first one. Okay, so which of these would pair with this to become symmetric? Would it be A, B, C, or D? Okay, last but not least, Gianna and Tyler were investigating quadrilaterals and symmetry in math class. Gianna drew the quadrilateral below and found four lines of symmetry. She looked at Tyler and said, that makes sense. A shape with four sides and four angles should have four lines of symmetry. Tyler disagreed, saying, not all four-sided shapes have four lines of symmetry. Who is correct? Gianna or Tyler? Explain why Gianna or Tyler is correct. Use what you know about symmetry in explaining your answer. So for this, a lot of you all, oh, excuse me, a lot of you all have been doing a very good job of explaining your thinking. Okay, when you are showing your work, if you click show your work, it brings up places for you to use these things, okay? So, you could write it on paper and insert a picture by clicking image. You could click on this T for text, and it'll let you type out the answer. I can label it part. A and start typing my answer out. Okay, that is the easiest to either type or insert the picture. Some of you, when you start doing it, choose to use this draw button. And as you can see, when I'm doing it, it's not easy to work like this, okay? So the best way that you could do it is use this text button to do it. Now, if you're wanting to draw the box, then using the draw tool would be a great way, even though, as you can see, I'm not great at using it, okay? You can use two different ones. So I can sit here and draw 
And then I can also grab the text and start typing. I think so I can use both of them at the same time. Okay, you don't have to just choose one. But using that text or that upload image makes it a little bit easier for your teachers to see. Okay, because sometimes when we're using just the scribble tool, it gets a little bit sloppy. Okay, you could also use this rectangle to draw that box and it would draw it. And then you could put the lines in with either the line tool or the scribble tool. Okay, does that make sense to everybody, hopefully? All right, use what you know to race. Restate the question. Make sure that you go through every part of explaining using your show and tell. Okay, show your work and explain your thinking. Okay, use the good math terminology that you know, symmetry. Okay, making sure that you're upping those points by using that great math terms. Okay, so like I said, this is only eight questions today. I think you'll be able to rock it. It shouldn't take you too long. When you see these arrows on top, remember that is the symbol for line. Okay. All right, good luck, super scholars.